a lot of brothers we talking about they don't like the weave, right? But you got mm-hmm. natural hair. Mm-hmm. Do you see? Do you do you see more men attracted because they see you being more natural, or, or the girls with the wigs? I think that men. I feel like when I see people get married and stuff, I see a lot more women go natural and stuff, but. I would say it's all, it's all the same. Like when I used to wear wigs and stuff, I kind of went from being everybody's type to being some guy's type. Like, I don't feel like I'm everybody's type now that I have like the natural hair and stuff like that. I like, um, it's a lot easier for me to date now because before I would wear like, you know, the pretty, the pretty wigs, the curly, you know, the straight, the wavy. And I had this one wig where people couldn't tell that it was a wig. And this one dude, he was like completely obsessed with me. And then he mentioned it. He was like, oh my God, I just love like your natural hair. But it was a wig. And I kind of told him, and because he told me, he was like, you know, I don't normally date black girls. And which men later on, just so you guys know in the future, when you tell a black girl that you're interested in her, but you say that, yeah, and I normally ain't attracted to black girls. That's not a compliment, by the way, just because you want to talk to me, but you, you're not normally attracted to black girls. Like, that's actually a really big insult on our race in particular. And it's not just a compliment to one person. Um, but he was just like, yeah, I don't normally date black girls. He was like, but I just love everything about you. He was talking about my body. And then he was like, in your hair. And I looked at him. And I said, you know, this isn't my hair, right? Like, and I was like, and to me, I said, I'm not your type. I said, you say that you don't normally like black girls. I said, then you probably shouldn't date me because like, I'm really like black as fuck. Like I'm not mixed. I'm not anything. Like I'm a real life black girl. And um, he was like, what do you mean? I was like, if I take this wig off and I wet my hair and I just let my hair do whatever it does, you probably, you probably won't be attracted to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like on a normal day, like if you're telling me that just because of my hair and the way that I carry myself and stuff, like you're attracted to that, like you're not really attracted to a black woman. Like you like exotic looking Europeanized black women. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get a lot of compliments on my hair, but to me, men gonna do what they gonna do and it don't matter what's on top of your head, honestly, because this ain't stop nothing. I will say, like, you know, I don't get certain looks from certain men, and then you get looks from certain men. I don't know. Yeah, that's kind of weird to walk up. You a black person saying, no, you know, I'm normally not attracted to black women. You know, like that. How how could you even say some stupidity like that? Even if you date, even if you got a, you know, hey, look, I date whoever, but to make a comment like that, and it was based off of a wig, like. I don't know who's raising these these people. I really don't know. Yeah. I think a lot I'm of like, them I always say need a daddy in their life because that's been a big problem in our community is that mm-hmm. fathers, you know, really need to be there. Fathers is so important. And I can just tell by how these dudes respond, even what you mentioned earlier, want to get all mad and want to even get violent because you turn them down. I, I can tell you, say he probably grew up with a single mother because a lot mm-hmm. of them guys are emotional. They grew up with a single mom. If the, You yeah. can tell the difference with a guy that had his father. I'm talking about a straight lace good you know you know man traditional man and mm-hmm. then when he didn't have that in his life it's like night and day every time yeah, it is and you know and then it's crazy because a lot of the blame is being put on black women for the way that black men act and i'm so against that because my mom she raised my brothers my brothers they are very respectful towards women um They're really like, they're stand-up guys. You know what I'm saying? And she raised them. Now, why do, can I ask you a question? Sure. So why is there so much hate for single black moms? And no one mentions who or why they are single black moms because it's not like they're single black moms who don't take care of their kids you know because Mm -hmm. they actually stood there and they took on the responsibility that was brought to them why is it always oh it's the single black mom's fault but it's not but there's no accountability for the men who made them 
single mothers. Mm -hmm. All right. So let, let's go there. Um, the one of the big issues in our community, I think it's now 80 plus percent, you know, children that's being born in our community, single mothers, but 51% of black men don't have children. And it's about what, 16 to 20%, you know, of the men that's making a bunch of kids with a bunch of women. Um, and they know if this is the recent guy that just came out, they have 33 kids with 11 different women. Um, those relationships with just one guy making 33 children. Okay. Whose fault is it at the end of the day when you have children being raised with 11 different women, no commitment of marriage, not even a marriage. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying like women have more power in society when it comes to childbearing, when it comes to, you know, they, the gatekeepers of, you know, sex that word, they, the gatekeepers of that. Right. Mm -hmm. And this man can't even get a woman pregnant unless she allows it. And of course, unless he's violating her, but unless she allow it. So a lot of men are saying you allowing these men to impregnate you, right? You're not even requiring marriage out of them. Now you're requiring a commitment. You just laying down, having children. This guy was sorry and no good in the beginning. All he wanted is, okay, you grown, do what you do in your bedroom. But could you at least say, Hey, you want to put on some protection? Uh, I'm going to protect myself and I'm not making no uh, illegitimate children out here. Right. And these guys are sorry in the beginning and yet you still having children and then they got no daddy and they got a mama. Now, some moms are great out here. Some are terrible, but you have a daughter or a son without a father. And that guy was sorry in the beginning. And, and so the reason why some guys are saying, well, it's the mom, it's, it's these single mothers out here is because these children can be prevented. And at least could you at least get married and then be in that relationship with a commitment and then have children. I don't, what is wrong with saying that? Okay. So with everything that you said, I understand, but I still feel like a lot of that is being, so it's, it's laughed upon. It's not really supposed to happen. If a, if a woman proposes to a man, we cannot marry ourselves. Like, right. so we are talking about women who are laying down with men without being married. Right when we have to understand how the times have changed before, you know, people had to meet your father and your brothers at the front door and mm -hmm. they were all standing out with their guns, letting you know, if you fuck with my sister, it's going to be some problems, right? We don't right. do that anymore. Why? Because Unfortunately. half the time we have to hide the fact that we're in a relationship or, you know what I'm saying? But the times are just a little bit different. There are women out here who do have sex and don't require commitments from guys. You know what I'm saying? But the woman who says, well, look, I'm not going to have sex with you um, until you commit to me. Those men, they're not going for that because the other girls, they're going to be willing to go and have sex and do all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, it can be prevented. But everything that you were speaking on to me it starts with the man, not just the woman, because you also have to understand it's a little bit harder for a woman to hide that she is with child or that she has children than it is for a man. A man can easily hide the fact that he does not have children and that he does not have another family. And it is easy for a man like, I don't know how this is because I'm just so damn busy with everything that I have going on. I don't see how people can entertain multiple relationships and and still be able to function because I can only do about one. OK, and if that but men, it seems like all my exes, they had like three and four girls on the side and we didn't find out about each other until a year later, two years later. You know what I'm saying? So everything that you were kind of mentioning to me it kind of starts with the man because it's for a dude to come and be able to fuck me unprotected. We got to be dealing with, we got to be dealing with each other for a minute. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we got to be on the same page about something. And the moment that I realize that we're not on the same page, I take away the access. You know what I'm saying? Like once I see that you're out there involving yourself with other people, yeah, take away the access. But men are really, really good liars. Like really good. Like I didn't had friends find out that they dudes, you know, she pregnant, another girl pregnant at the same time. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just don't think that everything, like everything that you were saying to me is still starts with the men and the men are not being held accountable. It's just the women are taking the blame because nobody wants to hold the men accountable. I don't know if y'all have ever gone through having an abortion, but it's not fun. And just because a man doesn't want to take on his responsibility or he can't pull out or because a lot of men like to, oh, let me take the condom off. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people, they like to do that, but they don't, but they don't understand what mentally goes with having abortions. Yeah, it well, can let, be let prevented. Let me respond to some things you said. You said a lot about, but you mentioned earlier you, yourself and two other women. Y'all was fooling, y'all always fooling with the same man, right? And that's what I was saying earlier. You got one guy, let's say if he impregnated you and all in those other two women, let's say he done that, right? Mm -hmm. it's something about this guy up front. Like, I don't know if people don't ask questions when they go on dates anymore. I don't know. Like I say, I'm not dating. I'm married, but it's like, what I would do, I would say, you know, if you're looking for a family, what's wrong asking a man up front? What are you looking for? You know, we do. and if they can't say, if you're looking for a family, he can't say, well, you know, I'm looking to definitely get involved in a serious committed relationship, looking to get married. You know, if we can, you know, do that. If a guy is not willing to tell you that up front, you know, and, and and I don't do these guys tell you all that they looking for a serious committed relationship with possibility of marriage. I just had this conversation last night with a man. You ready for this? They men feel like women can't handle the truth. Right. Because when they tell us the truth, we get mad or upset. Right. So you have a man who approaches a woman and if he's being 100 percent honest with her about his intentions. Look, ma'am, I'm going to be honest. I'm not looking for no relationship. I'm just looking for a woman to fuck on tonight, tomorrow. Maybe we can keep it going, but I'm really not trying to commit or have any type of emotional connection with you. Okay? You as a man came, came up to me and you said that. What will I do? Either I will accept or I will decline, right? Naturally, I will decline it because I'm not dating just to have sex. I'm dating to find my partner. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to I'm going to reject you on that. Like, oh, yeah, no, nah, it's cool. Yo, you can go find somebody else for that because that's not me. Right now. The reason why men lie to us about what they want is because they know that if they are being honest about their intentions and what they want with us, we will not fuck with them. They know that. So they come in lying. And my friend, I was, he was like, no, that's just because if we do tell y'all that, y'all not going to give us the time of day. You are absolutely right. If you were to honestly tell us your intentions with us, we will tell you we are not looking for that unless we are. You know what I'm saying? A woman, if a man can literally come to me and say to my face, I'm not looking for nothing. I just want to fuck. If that's what I'm looking for, I'm going to go for it. But I'm not going to try to turn a relationship into it. You know what I'm saying? It's just about being honest about your intentions because men are not honest about their intentions. They're honest about it after the fact. Two weeks, three weeks after you didn't started fucking. Four months after y'all didn't started fucking. Well, now, you know, I don't really think I want to be in a relationship now after we didn't fucked a couple of times. Now that my emotions are into it and stuff. Now, all of a sudden, you can say it. That's why they say women can't handle the truth. But in reality, reality, if you were honest up front, we wouldn't have had those type of expectations. If you would have told me, instead of you trying to be with me in a monogamous relationship, and then me finding out about you cheating later on, and then you trying to tell me later on, well, I do want to just be able to be with other people. But if that's what you wanted to do, you should have told me that in the beginning and not now. You know what I'm saying? We don't, it's not that we can't handle the truth. We just can't handle the, we, we don't like to hear the truth after you didn't lie to us for so long. Men are well, not honest about their intentions. Well, well, some men, yeah, some men are freaking liars. I mean, I, I get you hundred percent. If it, look, I, how I feel about it. You, you out there in, in, uh, uh, uh you know, the, the city you in and things are legal out there. I think if a dude want to do that, he might well just go get one of them females. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, that's how I feel about it. Um, but all not all men are like that. They got some men that's going to be straight up and tell you what the deal is. They don't, they don't even care like that. And, and, and we live in a day and time, especially with the modern American woman, 
is that you could actually tell them straight up. Some of these women would be like, oh yeah, I'm on that too. So let's go, let's go. Come on, let's go do our thing. I ain't got to talk to you no more. They got something I'm on that. You may not be on that, but a lot of them are. So I just think that, um, you know, it just certain things just need to be asked because even when I was dating, I asked certain questions. I said, oh, I ain't fooling this female. You know, oh, hell no. You know, just you based off of some of the things because I, I'm, I have the belief of Tupac. I don't want it if it's that easy. I've always believed that and that kept me out of a lot of trouble. There were two times I asked the right questions, right? Mm -hmm. So this one dude, he was trying to come over and see me and I asked him, I said, do you have a girlfriend? He said, no. I said, okay, you don't have a girlfriend. I was like, but is there any women out there that believe that you are their man? He was like, well, I mean, yeah, like in their mind, they probably think I'm their man. But to me, I'm single. So you got a girl. OK, so that was one guy. It was like, OK, after his answer, I was just like, wait, get the fuck off my phone. So then another guy, I met him. I said, hey, do you have a girlfriend? He said, no. I said, you got a wife? He was like, no. I said, OK. Two weeks after we dealt with each other in that type of way, why did that man walk down the aisle? So I guess maybe I didn't ask the right question of, do you have a fiance? You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, it should not be that fucking complicated. Either you are in a relationship or you're not. You're either committed to somebody or you're not. Like it should not, I should not have to break it down like that. I shouldn't have had to ask him, oh, well, do you have a fiance? No. Do you have a do you have a girlfriend? No, you don't have a girlfriend. Do you have a wife? Okay, you're not married, but you're engaged to be married and you guys are walking down the aisle in two weeks. Yeah, well, like I said, it's called a vetting process. Very vetting is very easy. You could talk to people, look at their social media, because what they do, where they go, who they hang with. Once they get down, social media tells a lot. That's why the cops love social media because people just telling themselves all the time, asking, like you say, the right questions to people. You know, asking, you got kids, you got this, you know, just certain. I mean, eventually, if they got kids, you'll find that sort of thing out if that's what you're, you know, looking for. But I still think there should be a vetting process. That's why I'm a firm believer of don't sleep with a woman too quick or a woman don't sleep with a man mm -hmm. too quick because if he's lying, let's say he's lying, you're going to find that out and you didn't give your body to somebody. Exactly. And so, and I, and that's what I practice. Like I'll be looking at people and I'll just be like, Oh shit. Oh, you think you about to fuck me? Hmm. We about to leave this exactly where we at. I don't, I get to know people. I don't even get sexually aroused. Like, unless I know, like my body will tell me who it wants when it wants them. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not just one of those people who, Oh, he fine as hell. I'm about to fuck him. That's not me. Mm -mm. I need to know what your headspace is like. I need to know where you're at in your life. Are you at peace? Because people don't understand how real that transfer of energy is. And if you are mm -hmm. at war with yourself, but you're having sex with me, you're giving me that energy. Now I'm about to be at war with my goddamn self. Just, just like earlier, you talked about where if he don't like how I am or, or, or whatever, how you am, he, you know, he needs to go find somebody else. So when they, if you don't sleep with them too quick, like, man, I want to, you know, cause Okay, well, go holler at old girl. Old girl, like I said, she got a reputation. Holler, you know, it's it's no it's no big deal. And, and I I think, like I said, it should go that route. It yeah. should. Um, yeah. and I it it would keep women out of a lot of issues. You know, let him go be with the whores. You don't want a guy that's just so rushing to sleep with you anyway. I mean, you need to get to know this woman, who she is, what's her personality. You may not even like this chick after two days. Why you still right. want to sleep with him? You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. yeah, I just think if women would have a stronger vetting process, asking the right questions and just saying that, no, no woman, no guy is going to get me pregnant whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, if I do something with you, it's going to be uh, with protection. And you want a guy that ha ha believes in protection. Like, hell no, I ain't getting you pregnant because I ain't paying no child support. So, hell mm -hmm. no, because they got some women that don't want guys, you know, to wear protection because, you know, they, they want to uh, sometimes have babies, whatever the case may be. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah. Vetting, vetting is a very, very important thing. Yep. And, you know, um, I will say that what a lot of people don't do, which is a part of like a healing process is they have to work on that codependency 
issue. Like they don't understand how not being able to be by yourself. Like, I feel like people who don't know how to be by themselves are the ones who make the poorest decisions. Like some people think that they need friends or they need relationships or, you know what I'm saying? But in reality, you just need yourself. If you are not your strongest here, you're your weakest, you're, you're weak everywhere else. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it's a lot easier for me to date and pass on a guy than it was before I had my codependency issue because it was like, well, I kind of just want him to be around. Like I just need somebody to be around. And so you'll compromise yourself just to have somebody around. Now at the point that I'm at, it's either you want to be here or you don't. And I'm not going to force you to be here if you don't want to be here. And if that means that you're going to go sleep with that girl over there, you can go sleep with that girl over there. Like over me, I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really in the people pleasing business anymore. So it definitely helps me weed out a lot of people now. Yeah. And you should not be in the people pleasing business. I agree with that hundred percent. So, so, so sister, like I said, tell people, you know, as we wrap up how they can get to, you know, your social media page or, um, your, uh, things that you're promoting. Okay. So my Instagram is don't blame Tyler. I also have, um, my granny pages, which is don't, I mean, granny too thick backup that's my instagram and my TikTok for the granny and um my business page for the healing stones crystals and the stage that is um ninth of june.com all of that stuff can be found in my bio on my instagram page don't blame tyler and yeah if you guys are ever in las vegas i have a small store at the boulevard mall so you guys should definitely come check us out all right, so make sure you sell incense and crystals. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. well, we'll make sure to send Dr. Umar Johnson to your establishment um, since you sell incense and crystals as a black woman. Um, so, yeah, we definitely want to thank you, uh, Tyler, for joining us today and having this great conversation. And so, you be blessed out there in Las Vegas. Perfect. Thank you so much.